Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs, and uh, today we're gonna try to take apart the one of these uh, projection displays that I did show you in another video. Um, for me, they were quite, or they are quite useless because uh, these ones have the strange readout of uh, not uh, numbers. Uh, but some symbols like degrees Celsius and bar, etc. And a viewer told me that th this type was used in an uh, Audi limousine uh, for the dashboard, apparently. So that's uh, probably uh, the reason for the strange uh, readout. And anyway, um, it might be possible to uh, when we take them apart just to modify them um, by changing the uh, projection slide or slides i don't know how many there are inside um, for better ones that are that could be used for a clock or anything else with the numbers zero to nine so um, I've already prepared uh, to take out the these little uh, retaining clips here. Um, that took me some minutes because I don't have a special pliers for these, but that, I would wanted to spare you the time just for me fiddling around with these. And uh, when the retaining clips are pulled out, then we can uh, get away with the top plate here. And let's see if we now can draw the one out. No, we still have to loosen these screws here. Let me find a screwdriver. It's also strange. Uh, apparently nylon screws, but the nuts are metal. I don't know if the nuts are original. The nuts usually are also made of nylon if the screws are nylon screws. So let's see if we now... Uh, okay, now it's coming out and we already can see that this is an assembly of uh, at least four different parts. Aha, uh -huh. next we can read and that was what I suggested. Here we can see the lamp positions from the rear view and because we have a 14 pin connector on the back side I just was guessing that there could be a maximum of uh, 12 or perhaps even 13 uh, different slides and bulbs and apparently there is an arrangement of 3 by 4 little bulbs so that's the first surprise. And let's see how we uh, further get along. Okay, here we have also some clips that can be pushed. Ah, uh -huh. okay, next part comes out. So there are some spring contacts for the little bulbs. And here we can see four bulbs are inserted and the other ones are uh, empty. So uh, quite hopeful that uh, if I could get at least uh, how many eight, six or eight more of the original bulbs, then I could get a number display out of this. Let's see. Okay, we have a little PCB board with the connections from the spring contacts to the to the terminal here. So, this can be easily pulled back again and because of the slot here you cannot put it together the wrong way. And this is apparently the optical assembly here. So we have two further screws, this time Phillips head screws. The other one is below the label. I'm 
so screws are loose but I can't get it further apart so we have two two bolts here perhaps these are holding the last two pieces together let's see if we can screw unscrew them apparently they are threaded Uh -huh, okay, here yeah, the next thing comes apart. Here we apparently have the lens array. <coughs> uh, 12 projection lenses for the uh, maximum of 12 little bulbs. So let's see if we can get the lens out. Just to replace the bulbs. Yeah, it's apparently a piece of, I don't know, it's plastic. From the weight I would say this is not glass, it's just plastic. And here we have another, let me get it in focus, another set of lenses uh, behind the bulbs. So I can't see how to unscrew the bulbs. Okay, they are coming out this way. It's perhaps not the... Sorry if you... If I sometimes am out of the picture with what I'm doing. But it's quite difficult to fiddle around with this and keeping an eye on on the PC screen. So probably this is not the best way to unscrew them with pliers. But or are they perhaps can they be drawn? Ah, they are only. Uh, they are not with a thread. So the first problem will be to get another one of these little mini bulbs. Uh, they must be 12 volts uh, because uh, when I showed you the, the whole assembly in operation, in action, uh, 12 volts was apparently the right voltage and if they were used in a car then of course 12 volt is the right voltage. So let's see if these dummy, the unused uh, 8 ones, if these are simply rubber dummies or what they have put. Yeah, okay, these are just, sorry for the defocus. These are just a little piece of rubber just to hold any stray light out probably. So this is the bulb assembly of the little incandescent mini bulbs. And we had the, the lens array here for focusing. Because all in all, this is basically works like a slide projector. So let's put it back again. And let's see what's inside the rest. Ah, this, this one here, it's not 12, uh, or in this case, four different slides, but it is one single slide where the um, displayed symbols are all printed on one. So it could be possible just to print them on transparent film with a laser printer. Which, uh, here we also still can see what was displayed percent UPM that was apparently really the uh, UPM for the engine of the Audi car bar 
are probably the pressure of the cooler and degrees Celsius again with the degree symbol on the wrong side of the C. So that is the single slide where up to 12 symbols or numbers or even pictograms could be displayed. So that will be some effort to repu reproduce one, but it should be feasible. So what I need are some of some spare uh, bulbs and uh, a self-made uh, slide. It's quite thick. This is not, or is it? It looks like photographic film, but a little bit thicker than a standard um, standard slide. And we have another lens array here. And now, ah, now also the two other th parts come apart. Um, so there's quite quite some some optics. We already had uh, here the lens array, and behind that there were also directly behind the bulbs were also some little lenses. We have another lens array, and which can be probably, oops, pulled out, yeah, and then we still have, ah, here is also the red filter, because uh, when you saw the original video, you can see that the uh, symbols were displayed with a red color and not the usual white color. And another little plate with 12 holes for the bulbs. And another... So there are quite a lot of pieces inside. And finally, the frosted screen um, with a matte surface. Um, so, quite a lot of parts, um, so I'll take my time just to reassemble them and if you know of any source where these little uh, mini 12 volt bulbs, I'll try to get one out again, if they are still somewhere available, I would be very grateful and just a short video, what's inside a protection display. So, thanks for watching. Uh, excuse me for the rough, there was quite a rough video uh, without any, without much attention to detail. But anyway, perhaps it was interesting for you. And that was it. Thanks for watching. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanka Labs. Until next time.